got James and Simon and Matthew. Let's see if I can get any more. I got Andrew, Peter. Oh, hi, boys and girls. Hey, good to see you. I was just fishing. Do you like to go fishing? Jesus did. As a matter of fact, our lesson today is Jesus called his disciples. And sometimes you will hear this, this story called the fishers of men. So let me tell you a little bit about it. So Jesus went around and he found 12 men that he wanted to follow him. Now, some of them were fishermen, some of them were tax collectors. So he chose different, different kind of guys to go follow him. And the reason he did that is because he wanted to show that anybody was able to learn and to follow him. And that's what he wants us to do too. He wants us to follow him. And he wants us to be disciples. And a disciple is one that goes around and tells other people about Jesus's love and how he died on the cross for them and how if they would confess their sin and ask him to be their Lord and Savior, they would be able to have life eternal with him in heaven. And he wants us to share that good news with everybody. Boys and girls, I pray that you are able to do that too. Hey, let me tell you a little bit about my game. So, I have all of the disciples' names on our paper. And then you print them out and you cut them out and you put a paper clip on each end just as I did just like that. You take a stick and a string and you put a magnet on the end and then you can go fishing for disciples just like Jesus did and just like I did today. How cool is that? Boys and girls, I have something very special to share with you. Mr. Clyde and Miss Jan is joining us this week, and they want to share some very important lessons with you. So if you would, take a listen and see what they've got to say. Before we go, I want to say a real quick prayer. Whenever we say a prayer, remember, we are talking straight to God. So join me by folding your hands and bowing your heads. Okay, here we go. Heavenly Father, I am so thankful for you today. Lord, I just thank you for all the blessings that you give us. I thank you for all the love that you give us. Lord, I pray for each and every child within the sound of my voice. I pray that they grow up loving you and that they are able to share your love with other people to become disciples of you. That is our goal, Father, is to always share your love with other people. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Boys and girls, it's so good to see you today. Be sure and listen to our lesson and print out the game so you can become fishers of men, just like Jesus did. I love you, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Good morning, kids. This morning. is Janice. And Clyde. Hi, your Sunday school teachers. We miss you, and we, we love you. miss you a lot. You. Love you. Clyde has a question for me this morning. What is your question, Clyde? Janice, why did Jesus become human? Jesus became human to rescue sinners. Do you know that all of us are sinners? I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I hate to say this, but you guys are all sinners too. Do you know why we're all sinners? Because we all make mistakes. None of us are perfect. We do things that don't make God happy. And that, and because of that, we need Jesus. And that when we do something wrong, how do we repent to God? Remember what we've talked about, that you close your eyes and you fold your hands and you talk to God from your heart and you let him know you're sorry for what you did and that you won't do it again and you'll try to be better. But sometimes, think about this with your parents. You do things that are bad that mom and dad say you have to be punished whether it's time out or they're going to take your electronics away from you or something. Well, we were so bad, all of us, the whole human race, that God needed to punish us. But he loved us so much that he sent Jesus to take on that punishment. Remember a couple weeks ago, we celebrated good, well, we didn't celebrate, but we remembered Good Friday. 
And on Good Friday, Jesus went to the cross for us and he suffered and he took on that punishment for us. He died on the cross for our sins. And because of that, God doesn't remember any of the sins we do as long as we repent of them. So someday when God calls me home and calls you home, we all get to go home and be with him in Jesus. And I am so thankful that I get to do that and I can look forward to being with him someday. Well, we couldn't do that if Jesus never came to earth and took on that punishment for us. So I am so glad that God loved us so much that he sent Jesus to rescue us. And that we love you. We miss you. Can't wait till we get to see you again. Stay good. Stay healthy. Don't drive your mom and dad nuts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. See you soon.